Hello everyone. My name is Jai Isaguire. Um, you know, you know me as uh, my social media uh, handle. It's called um, Jai Speaks. And um, the reason I want to go live is um, I just want to talk to you guys just um, a little bit about just uh, what's on my mind. Um, um, I know right now. Um, the popular trend right now for 2016 is pretty much uh, just why everyone everyone hates it, you know, why people feel so discouraged, you know, about um, 2016 and how they're so happy to look forward to 2017. And um, um, before I go, before I get into that, I uh, <laughs> just remember. I just want to um, thank everyone that pretty much has been um, supporting me since I started this whole uh, social media thing. Um, I started it about um, about like two months ago, and um, on my social media uh, accounts, um, it's pretty much been blowing up, and I'm. It, I'm so thankful to everyone that's that's out there that's supporting me, that has been, um, you know, friends and family, people that have been uh, hitting me up on my personal inbox, just telling me how, you know, um, they feel that um, someone like me that is just um, coming out there and sharing, you know, life experiences and and my testimony of life and my past and where I want to go in my future, you know, has been very inspirational for people. And I just want to say that um, um, you guys are awesome, you know, friends and family that have been just supporting me. And, and I pray, you know, for the new people, you know, that will start to follow me that um, I'll try my best not to, to let you, you down. Um, once again, like I said, um, you guys can, um, follow me on pretty much all social media platforms at, uh, at Jai Speaks. And, um, there, um, little, uh, later on in the video, I'll talk about, uh, the content that I plan on putting on there for 2017. Now, talking about content, I want to definitely, uh, apologize for, uh, not being more aggressive on my on my content um I just kind of been like thinking about what content um I'm going to put on for for 2017 and you know I'm I'm over I'm realizing I'm overthinking it um you know I'm I'm starting to realize that um you know the content is is me the content is my life my content you know, are my emotions, my feelings, uh, the things that, you know, pop into my mind. And, you know, I pretty much am going to share it with the world. Thus why I created um, Jai Speaks, if you want to get a little bit of an understanding of where Jai Speaks comes from, is pretty much, I, I just feel that um, enough of us don't don't speak out enough you know we just hold back we hold back our emotions our thoughts you know um and we pretty much are existing and in, in in fear you know of backlash or what people might think of us or how people might see us and we really have to get over that uh, there really has to be an uh, inward awakening when it comes to general information and and self improvement you know you really have to be honest with yourself and and let out you know everything that is in, inside of you let out you know the the greatness i guess you know i'd rather i'd rather say um we really have to stop being um slaves to fear uh that's something that uh I really believe in and really um, speak um, to people about is that they really have to 
um, release themselves from themselves, the bondage of, of their minds and their emotions and whatever was said to them that they cannot do, you know, has to be completely eradicated from their minds and from their hearts. Now, moving forward with um, not being a slave to, to fear, I want to talk about 2000, 2016. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, and I, I originally, on social media, I themed it um, live and uncut. And it's funny, like, when people post things like that, they, they feel that, oh, man, like, he's, he's really, or, or that person, or that group, they're really um, going to talk about, you know, something really uncensored, something really, um, um, something really um, negative, you know, because I know how sometimes negativity is something that we're so drawn to as a society rather than us being drawn to the positive because, you know, that's something that um, we've been programmed secretly without knowing to be drawn to to drama and to be negative things. And I want to honestly say that that is not what I'm going to talk about. Um, I am a firm believer that in life, it's all about perspective, and um, you always have to find the good in everything. Um, perspective will really, you know, unravel, will peel the onions of things that you're, you're meant to see. And talking about things that you're meant to see, that is exactly what 2016 is about. It's really about unraveling um, the things that we needed to see um, as as a planet, as a civilization, as a society, as a society, and inwardly what we needed to see in in ourselves. Um, I'm not going to deny the fact that you know 2016. Um, sh um, shed light on a lot of negative things, a lot of anger, a lot of a lot of hate, a lot of a lot of back backlash against um our our society and the different uh principalities of of that when it when it comes to you know our everyday our everyday lives, our 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 jobs you know our leaders, uh, the people that we we vote for, and um, I really want to talk. I really want to say that 2016, from a personal level and from a society level, should um, really, really um, be acknowledged as a huge uh, eye opener in in a positive positive perspective because of the fact that um, it really um, revealed the um, the root of the the root of the issue you know the heart of the matter and um, it's funny I'm, I'm gonna start theming things and hashtagging things um, called um, the heart of the matter because that's really what 2016 was about it really was revealing the hearts of of people, you know, if it was negative or it was it was positive, it it pretty much was showing um, the cancer that was in in our in our society. And um, I'm not going to speak too much about because um, I'm not um, going to be political. Or getting get into a race or or anything anything like that, um, but what I will get into is about that now that we saw the the worst of us and the best of us, um, it's it's um, we know what we need to do for 2017. We know what we need to do better. In inwardly, um, 
as as a people, as as a race, as a as a community, and as a civilization, um, as a as as citizens of I guess you could say of of planet of planet Earth. Um, you know, a lot of us are I guess are very are very clicky in the sense that um, all that matters is 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 you know uh, me me and mine. You know, whatever affects my family is all is all that matters. But we need to think we need to think about the bigger picture. We need to think outside <clears throat> of the box and ourselves. Um, in 2016. Um, we we were very we were very um, we were very afraid we were very afraid um, and I think that because of of fear um, we we did a lot of things and we said a lot of things that um, just caused this I guess this um, this decay and. In our in our society, like like a cavity. Um, now, for two two thousand and seventeen, um, we need to do we need to do the the opposite. Um, there is um, an old saying that um, you know every every arrow gets thrusted gets thrusted back uh, before it can be thrusted forward. And if you understand the science to that. Um, pulling back an arrow, um, the the power and the the inertia is built up in the pulling the pulling back, and I think 2016 um, for for a society for a civilization for us as human beings um, and just inwardly what we're carrying in our hearts, I feel like it was a huge thrusting thrusting back. So that in 2017 we can get we can get thrusted forward into into our purpose, um, into into our destinies, into um, what we were really created created to do. Now talking about talking about created to to do, um, I don't want to sound you know basic in saying that. Um, you know, oh, don't let anyone tell you, don't let anyone tell you what, what to do or what you, you cannot, cannot do or who you can't, you can't be. But I want 2017 for me and for all of you to really be about, um, being thrusted, being, being thrusted forward, you know, really going after your dreams, really going after your, your purpose, you know, really finding out what it is that you were created to do. Um, I know for 2016, for myself and for others, it was it was a harsh year because it felt like you know a lot of doors were open were closed, pretty much in my life and in the life of others, and you know lives were lost and and you know either people lost jobs or relationships or opportunities or. Or things didn't work out the way they wanted it to, um, or dreams weren't fulfilled, and things like that. But you have to, you have to not look at it that way. You have to say to yourself and give an assessment, you know, and a review, not just of 2016, but a review of yourself. Of okay, now you know all the things that that went wrong, all the things that you could have done, you could have done better. And 2017 is going to be the stage and the platform for you to to fulfill that that destiny. And you have to understand, 2007, 2017 is just it's just the door. It's just the door. It's not everything. It might, but realistically, it might be just the door to open up multiple multiple doors that are going to get you to that to that destiny that you're wishing for yourself. <clears throat> you have to understand, um, you know, in life, and, and if you're living life, 
and you're alive, you know, if you have a heartbeat, you understand, you understand that when it comes to fulfilling your dreams, when it comes to really accomplishing a goal, you know, it's never, it's never going to fully manifest all at once. It's, it's usually you taking the first step towards the door, towards the door of that destiny, opening up that one door and fulfilling what you need to fulfill in that one room. And once you fulfill what you need to fulfill in that room, another door is revealed. And that is that is the pattern that is going to be consistent once you decide to continuously move forward and not stay not not stay stagnant. You know, the 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 mission is because a lot of people, you know, they say, oh, you know, I almost got, I was almost there. I was almost, I was almost close to fulfilling that dream. But you have to understand that a lot of us sometimes just get comfortable, you know, in just um, existing in that, in that one room. And we forget, no, there is a goal that I have to, I have to reach. There is a, a destiny and a dream that I have to fight to come, for it to come true. So you have to, once you open up that door, you dominate that, that room and get done everything that you need to get done in that room. You go and find the other door, dominate that room, do, get into the other door, and just keep going. Never, don't stop. Don't stop. I beg of you, of everyone that is, that is listening to me that is really you know, going after everything they want in 2017. Don't get comfortable when you just accomplish one goal. Because a lot of us do that. I, I sometimes, you know, have, have done that. And I've had to, like, shake myself from not, from not doing that. Once you reach that one goal, get into the other one. And complete the other one. And complete the other one. And complete the other one. You know, life is pretty much going to be, you know, a continuous movie of just completing goals. And once you you met a goal and once you you um accomplish that dream, think of another dream. Think of something think of something else. Um I used to I tell people all the time that um when they talk about their lives, imagine your life as as a movie. Imagine if someone paid, you know, 20 bucks or so, because I know movie theaters are expensive now, but someone paid like 20 bucks to see, to see your movie. Like, what are they going to see? What are they going to see? Are they going to see, um, um, this, you know, stagnant life where you're not really doing anything, you're not really accomplishing anything, you're just complaining, you know, you're just, you're just blah, you know, you're just like a bag just floating, floating through, through life. Or are, are you going to produce content in your life and for other people to be in, inspired? Like you have to understand that um, part of our existence is to, is to inspire others, to bring light to, to others. Um, that brings me to my other point when it comes to, you know, your life. Um, you have to stop being afraid to make mistakes. You have to um, stop stop playing it safe for everything because you never you if you don't make any mistakes, you are never gonna know like what what that hidden hidden talent is, what that um, hidden strength that you've never you've never had um, the opportunities that you've could have had um, because you decided to to step up um, one thing I've learned in my in my personal life you know and going into 2017 2017 um, is going to be an awesome year for me and the reason I say that is because in 2016 you know um, I positioned I positioned myself to have open opportunities for 2017. Why? Because 
Understand this. Someone is always watching. Someone is always watching. Someone is always observing you. Someone is always saying, wow, I wonder about that person and what that person's life is about. Um, it could it could be an opportunity, you know, for, for a particular job or a particular um, uh, engagement for you to speak, uh, a situation for you to dance for a dance audition or uh, for photography. Like, you never know um, what situation will produce a greater situation, you know. Now, are all the situations going to be positive? No. Are some of those situations probably going to be negative? Yes. And, you know, and I'm, and, and, and I'm not condoning, you know, for you to do things that are going to be harmful or anything. But I mean, you know, positive things that you're afraid to do. And like, for example, like if you want to sing, you know, you have an ambition to, to sing. And, and you, at the present time, you might say, you know what, I really don't sound good singing, you know, take singing lessons, you know, go on YouTube, study, you know, um, find, um, a teacher that is willing to, to teach you, you know, take singing classes, thing, things like that, like really small, mediocre things. And then, Put yourself out there. Put yourself in an opportunity, you know, where there's an open mic or there's some type of um, gala gala, or some type of singing recital. You know, I'm not, you know, I know it's just about singing, but it's just, it's, it's a situation where you're, you're stepping out and you're, you're ridding, you're ridding yourself of, of fear. That's the big thing that you have to do in 2017 is rid yourself of fear. No more fear. I think 2016 was all about fear. I think everyone was afraid of everything. Everyone was afraid of their neighbors. Everyone was afraid of society. Everyone was afraid of their leaders. Just everyone was, was walking around afraid. Now, in 2017 and moving forward for the rest of the, of your years in, in your life, you know, f- fear I think also comes from a mindset and a heart posture of um being um being hooked on a, a system um saying that oh well my support comes comes from comes from this. Um, once once you do that, you're gonna set yourself for for failure because systems systems are gonna let are gonna let you down. You know, there's flaws in systems, and the reason there's flaws in systems is because systems are designed by men, and men, meaning men and women, are are flawed. We are flawed, so we cannot depend on on a system. The people that we could depend on is our friends, is 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 our family, families, is our, our our loved ones. But most importantly, believe in yourself. You know, believe in yourself. Allow yourself to be your inward your inward support system. You know, because um, you you can do it. You can do it. I believe in myself. I believe. In everyone out there, I believe in everyone that in 2017. I'm I'm just projecting this, and I'm just um, just kind of prophesying this into into the air, you know, that um, everyone is going to be rid of of fear. Everyone is going to go after, regardless of who your leaders are, regardless of who your boss is. Who, what, what kind of job that you have? Your, your, your skin color, race, you know, your, your, your um, financial background. You know, if you, if you don't have money or you do have money, you know, if people listen to you or, or not, believe in, in yourself. Believe in yourself. You know, take that leap, that leap of faith. Take that one step 
the other leg is going to follow, and then the other leg is going to follow. You know, ha have this constant forward momentum. Fear, there's no, there's no movement in fear. Fear produces death. Because fear, in fear, you're in this place of pause. And we're living beings. And the way that we prove that we're living is by moving. By moving. By, by causing being in, in action. So, um, show, we have to show that we're alive. And the way that we show that we're alive is by um, just going out there and trying new things, um, um, going after new experiences, meeting new new people. Um, 2016, you know, I really got to know a lot of different people. Um, I have a lot of old friends, and I have a lot of new friends, and and I'm I'm kind of like in my mind, I'm kind of like you know compounding everything. You know, from different different generations of people that are younger than me, people that are around my age, people that are older older than me, and I'm seeing the the comparison of how they all feel about um, about their lives, about society. You know, and and it's really it's really amazing. It's really amazing to be able to be alive in this in this generation and experience um, just how we're evolving as a society, how um, there's, how I look forward to um, us accomplishing such greater things and, and not just in, in technology, you know, and, or in government, but just the evolution of ourselves, the evolution of our hearts, you know, the evolution of us helping helping one another. We don't we don't we don't help enough. We don't we don't care enough. We don't listen enough. And um we can't do this by ourselves. And that's the other thing that I also want to add on to yes, believe in yourself, but also understand that other people can help you to get there. You just have to humble yourself, listen, really listen really listen to what people are saying, you know, and really listen, you know, to yourself. Always listen to yourself. Always listen to yourself and your gut instincts on things. Nine out of ten, they're gonna be correct. You know, there's there's the other percent percentage where you're where you're wrong. But but you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm so excited for myself. I'm so excited um, for all of you on 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 what on the adventure that you're going to go on 2017 2016 was just about about knowing you're going to go on a trip you know throwing away the things that you don't need for 2017 you know but getting everything that you do need for this journey on on 2017 and um 2017 you're gonna in 2017 you're gonna you're just gonna rock out um, you're going to accomplish such great things and and you're really when you really think about it you're really gonna praise 2016 because it really revealed um, what you need to do what we all need to do as a society to improve and what we need to do moving forward to improve our lives and the lives of of other people. I really hope that this video um, has really impacted you. Um, like I said, um, on social media, on all social media platforms, you can find me at, um, at Jai Speaks. Please um, also have a YouTube channel. I want to Thank everyone on, on the first um, week that I had it up. I, I, I reached 200 subscribers, so I want to thank everyone for that. You know, continue to subscribe, continue to share, continue to like, continue to to comment. Um, um, moving forward, 
um, I'll try to um, meet my personal goals of of putting out videos um, every um, every Friday, um, but um, I'm really going to produce um, great content for you guys. Um, it's really going to be themed um, the heart of the matter, and um, it's really going to be about just our our heart condition um, when it comes to why we're really doing the things that we're doing. I think when it comes to politics, when it comes to um, who we are as a society, um, who we are when it comes to, um, you know, our view on ourselves and our views on others, uh, when it comes to the, the views of, of, of love, um, it really has to do about just the condition of, of our hearts. And that's really what um, I'm really going to be going to be talking about is um, the heart of the matter. Um, once again, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, follow me at Jai Speaks. And um, may all of you um, have a, a blessed night. Have um, an awesome um, re reflect, reflection of, of 2016. You know, may it be a positive one, may it be an encouraging one, an exciting one you know, of everything that you need to do for 2017 and, and me speaking ahead now in 2017 that you're, all of you are going to accomplish everything that you set to accomplish. That all of you guys are going to be finishers in 2017. God bless you all.